Hello and welcome to another video of video code 2. Uh, this video I'll be doing an exercise uh, for the MVC3 framework and what I'm going to be showing is how you can do a drop down list. It's something simple but uh, some people might struggle on how to understand or how to pass data to the view from the home controller or any other controller. So as an exercise, I have here a, a basic website. Uh, it's about reading the Bible. And the idea here is you have a drop down list. And as you can see, the first uh, option you have on this list is select one. So when I click on it, I should be able to see, and in this case, is the books, all the books of the Bible. So as you can see, it will start from Genesis all the way down to the last Revelation book. And as you can see, it's in order as the Bible is, in the same order. It's not all mixed books all over the place, but it's in order. So this video is about how I did this. And in case somebody needs to know, there'll be this video will be helpful. So we'll go back to the code now, to Visual Studio, and before I go there, I'll go to the database. So here is the table <coughs> that I have made. So as you can see, this table has a few columns. One is for the book, the chapter, the verse, and the actual text. And as you can see, uh, the row IDs doesn't matter, but what matters is the book order because right here is telling us that for this book uh, the order it should be in is the first and if we uh, find more if we go down to we run this one <coughs> we go down as you can see the next book of the Bible is, is obviously number two so but we need this data in the table so we can have this drop down in, in order, in sequence, from 1 all the way to 66. So this is how the table looks like, and here's what I'm using. What I did is, <coughs> on the models I added a link to SQL um, file, and from there on I just dropped down the same table. So this table you see on the right is the same thing here on the link. Same same table so after that we'll close this guy and what I done is I went into my models again and I did this class called Bible models which is this one and from here I just made a simple method called uh, books the idea for this one is to pull the books only as you can see in this we only have books names and what I've done here is a basic link saying well before I go into this I also created a very simple class called my books it holds the book in the book o uh, book order in ascending order so here we go so here I say I want all a list of books my books which is this class and from this table which is the one uh, link and here I'm saying select new so here instead of having anonymous class or types I'm just having a strong type with this class and as you can see you can pass book and then the value from your table and then your property from your class and then the order and here I'm just closing <coughs> you can see I'm closing um, parentheses and then I'm saying I want uh, distinct I don't want duplicates of the same because in the table as you can see uh, it repeats for each verse is the same data Genesis chapter 1 Genesis chapter 1 and the book order is 1 1 the same thing so when I'm, I'm saying here give me the distinct just give me the first one like Genesis and book 1 that's all I really need right now 
and here I'm saying hey give me a list from all that obviously here I'm just checking if it's now no if it's not then hey I want this results from books I want it in order in this order and then it will make it into this order Genesis Exodus if not it won't it will give you the books all over the place so then after that I just return that list and this list is innumerable of my class my books which is this one then if we go back to the models <coughs> if we go to the index all I'm doing here is getting um, well this is actually B models which is this one here just initializing the object and here's something I was testing that is not needed and here's where the list gets built so from the B which is the Bible models which is this one I'm calling this guy so I get a list so here I'm just initializing a list of selected list items and actually I'm not even using this one I was testing another uh, way of doing it but here we go so here's what I'm doing once I get the books I'm saying select uh, this new select items right here and then at the same time I'm passing the values so it's text and then it's the book and the value is the order in which it goes into so here and after that after it's populated this list innumerable list I'm just passing this data back in the view bag just to keep it simple after you populate you pass it on and then you're done and then the easiest part is on the index on your view as you can see all I'm doing here is saying drop down this the order AC ASC which is this guy because that's what the view is going to look for this view is looking for what's coming what's in the view bag and on the view bag I have this guy which is right here and this guy has the items which is the books and the order so and then after that all you do is say the next uh, overload is to an option label in this case I'm just doing uh, select one and that's it very really simple to run and it works really nice so I'm gonna keep going and do another drop down and hopefully we'll have a like a little application that you can be you can uh, select a book then select the chapter and then the verse and you'll see the actual text verse so hopefully this video was helpful for the MVC framework and how to uh, pull data from your database then on your uh, models arrange the data the way you need it there are so many ways and this one way to do it is really simple and then pass the data back to the controller and in the controller you can still uh, modify your data in any other control that you need any other HTML uh, values you need to fix or adjust and this is one way so hopefully uh, this was helpful and if you have any questions send me an email or leave me a comment on YouTube thank you for watching